Okay, Shaila, to start with you, why are you being intolerant towards Baba Ramdev? What's wrong if he comes to your campus? See, uh, first thing that we need to clear is that we are not opposed to his visit to the campus. If any student organization wants to call him, if any individual wants to call him, even that is welcome at JNU. It is always welcome. There is a debate culture at JNU. But what is our opposition? Our opposition is that he was being called from an official platform. And this is just part of a concerted strategy to give RSS ideologues an, an, you know, uh, an academic legitimacy, just like Gajendra Chauhan, just like Y. Sudarshan Rao, who has no academic but credentials Baba to Ram speak Dev of, and RSS been made the ICHR chief. Uh, well, uh, many of his comments that have been, uh, you know, that have been right-leaning and that is what the right-wing endorses. For example, his comments on the LGBT rights, his comments on gay rights are extremely pathetic and that is what JNU does not endorse. And I don't mean my organization or my student union, no. I mean JNU as an institution has taken progressive steps, for example, inclusion of third gender in the forms, making the anti-sexual harassment committee inclusive for LGBT to the extent that the Shaila, GSH has... Shaila, you're up in arms about Baba Ramdev. Shaila, Shaila, just one counter to you, you're up in arms against Baba Ramdev. But when I look back at December 2011, Subramaniam Swami was among the list of speakers invited for the 20th International Conference of Vedanta at that point of time. We did not see you vociferously protesting Subramaniam Swami's inclusion. He's also a right-winger, as right-wing as they come. And you know his views on Muslims. You know his views on uh, several issues. Uh, yeah, he's sir. been a long-term supporter of Baba Ramdev himself. He wrote, he wrote in a piece in a newspaper that an acknowledgement of Hindu ancestry should be a prerequisite for Muslims in India to have voting yeah, yeah, rights. Sure, sure. If uh, that the is the backdrop, why did you uh, contest Subramaniam Swami in 2011? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, in 2011, I was neither in the campus, I was not a student at JNU, but right now, as a union representative, I feel that we should take a principled stance. So this is not a blanket opposition. For example, ABVP has invited Supramaniam Swami. They have invited Tariq Fatah, Shazia Ilmi. Even a Smriti Irani has been called from an official platform. For example, the Urdu Center, they called Smriti Irani for a book launch, right? We did not oppose that. So this has to be a principled opposition. But let's say, for example, you know, just for example, say Smriti Irani comes again, okay? So you have been, you know about our moment, Occupy UGC. Say, for example, if the fellowships don't increase and then she is invited by the JNU's official platform, then we may protest against it, okay? So it's not, a, it's not something okay. that we are out okay. to do because let's... we also have our things to do. So it's a principled opposition based on ABC. Okay, grounds. one sec. So let's hmm. principled opposition. Gaurav Jha, Gaurav Jha, to you, and now you can counter each other. But I'll just put two questions to you. When you call Baba Ramdev for a conference on Vedanta, please tell me and tell all the people watching the news are tonight, Gaurav, is Ramdev a yoga guru or is he a businessman? Is he a scholar on philosophy? Or is he a manufacturer of noodles? Is he known for his closeness to the BJP or for his scholarship on Vedanta philosophy? Tell me. Okay, Arnab. Uh, Swami Ramdev, first of all, has been invited to JNU not by ABVP but by the administration. He has been invited to a conference on Vedanta and he being an expert on Vedanta, yogic philosophy, he has been invited here. I would like to ask Ms. Shehla if not, uh, if not uh, Swami Ramdev, then who else is an uh, eligible person for this conference? Uh, is uh, uh, SR Gilani, is uh, Kavita Krishnan a more eligible person? Certainly not. And secondly, uh, Arnab, and JNU is unfortunately becoming a that's Talibanized it, academic it. institution. Here, we are finding not just our Swami Ramdev has been uh, blocked or blo has been blocked today, but even in the past, uh, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was shown black flag. President Abdul Kalam uh, entry was protested in the United Study, uh, in the School of International Studies. Uh, ambassadors of Israel, ambassadors I of thought, United I thought States dissent, are not allowed. I, I thought dissent was a part of. No, I'm, I'm sorry, but if yes. you expect students to be conformist, no. sort of, I don't know what Arnab, kind of student Arnab, politics you follow. No, I, but I think students are meant dissent. to be dissidents by nature. No, no, you, you, uh, no, no, you are saying that objection. students must fall in line with the views of the present government. No. Not at, all, not at all. We have problems. We have problems because in School of International Studies, foreign policy of Israel course has been dropped. We have problems because in School of International Studies, American ambassadors are not allowed to enter. We have problems because Israeli ambassadors are not allowed. So there's a sense of there's a growing intolerance in Jawaharlal Nehru University, which these leftists have uh, 
been ruling for past good number of years and they have exactly. created an atmosphere of fear, of uh, intolerance amongst the students, amongst the faculty members, amongst everyone who tries to raise their voice, they are being silenced, they are not being allowed a voice, they are not being allowed a space for dissenting. Okay, so Professor Kesar. Ramdev is being blocked. Pro Professor Kesar disagreeing loudly with you. Disagreeing loudly yeah. with you is Professor Kesar of JNU. But do you want to respond? I think we let Shaila respond once. We let Shaila respond once to Gaurav Professor before uh, because yeah, he questioned yeah, her. I, I just He's basically to... saying that that then yeah. What, what, let Shaila respond once. Uh, Shaila, you wish to go ahead. I think, I know, uh, I just very follow. briefly, first of all, the uh, hang on. I'll just finish in a couple of uh, minutes. Uh, first of all, uh, the left has not been ruling the campus. We are a student union, and we are students' issues. Second thing, even when the left has done something wrong, it is the left that has actually criticized, that has gone ahead and criticized the left, okay? An example, a case in point can be Singur Nandigram. When Singur Nandigram happened, there were rallies in JNU by left activists. Third thing, and very important point, we have not beat up anyone, we have not abused anyone, we have not sent our trolls throughout Facebook and Twitter to abuse people who support Baba Ramdev. We have only voiced our opinions, we have written a letter in all civility and we have given a representation to the JNU administration. Now, based on this, if the JNU administration felt or if even Baba Ramdev felt that he should not come at this particular occasion, then, you know, then it's a victory of the silent, you know, of the silent protest. There was no protest, in fact. It's a very civil way of protesting, you know, of expressing dissent. On the contrary, whenever a film is screened, for example, cast on the menu card was screened. No, no, but, so if, but one second. No, 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 no